Hello, we're going to make a video today and we'll be discussing installing X2Go software. The, EC, the ECE department uses, uses X2Go software as one of the ways to connect to the ECE Teaching Lab Linux platform. One of the primary advantages of using the X2Go software is that it will provide a faster response time for users who are running graphics programs remotely over, the, in, over internet connections. This video will demonstrate how to install X2Go client software and connect to the Lehigh ECE X2Go server. Note, if not on the Lehigh network, you must be connected to the Lehigh network with VPN. Further videos will demonstrate how to connect from the ECE X2Go server, which acts somewhat as a gateway machine, to other workstations where applications can be run. Okay, so here we have a uh, Windows uh, 11 machine and uh, the very first thing uh, that we need to do is make sure we're attached to the Lehigh network. So if you're at Lehigh and you're on the wireless and you're on the Lehigh network, um, everything you can do everything that we're going to do here. If you're at home, uh, you need to connect to the Lehigh VPN. Uh, there are instructions on connecting to the Lehigh VPN at uh, the Lehigh University website. And uh, here's an example of uh, what it looks like uh, on Windows 11 after you connect to the Lehigh VPN. Okay, so then we're going to go ahead and choose your favorite web browser and go ahead and open it up. And uh, my first time opening it, so I say, yep, make it a default. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, go type into the search bar X to go download. Okay. And after doing that, we'll go ahead and hit enter. And what will happen is it, happen is it will come up and the first... Uh, search uh, item or the first item on, uh, after doing the search will be wiki.x2go.org and uh, uh, that's going to work fine and that, that's uh, the site that we want to go to and uh, so we'll click on the link here to get there. Okay so uh, here we are in the web page after clicking on that link and if we scroll down a little bit we'll see it says X2Go client and what we want to do is we want to download it and here you can see it says MS Win. This is the Microsoft Windows uh, uh, download so we're going to click on that and here we can see it downloading and it completed. Now my downloads uh, go down into my download directory, <coughs> excuse me, so I could go into the download directory and run it, or I can, from uh, my browser, I can run the software uh, right from the download uh, icon, so I'll click uh, open file, okay, and then it pops up with a dialog, a, a series of uh, dialog boxes for installing the software, pretty much like any other software. So we're going to go ahead and click yes, we really do want to install it. We're going to use English as the installer language. It, this is under the, the GNU general uh, public license and uh, you need to agree with that to proceed. These are the functions that are going to be installed when we install the uh, X2Go software, we're going to just take the defaults. They'll work fine. This is the location where the uh, uh, software is going to be installed. Uh, again, that works fine. And this is the text that's going to be put into the start menu. Uh, and again, the default works fine. Now we're going to sit back and we're going to wait while we get a connection, or not a connection, we're going to wait while it installs the software.
It doesn't take too long. And I'm currently running on a uh, machine that's not real powerful, so uh, your machine may have more uh, more speed and run faster. Okay, so now the X2Go software has finished installing, so we can click Finish. And we can close our web browser. We won't be using that. So I'll just click the little X and it will go away. <coughs> now, um, you'll see after we when we installed the X to go software, it put a um, icon here on the desktop. Uh, we can click that and launch the X to go client software. The other thing we can do is we can go down here to the little start box and click on that and come up to all apps. And then if we scroll down to X, we'll see the uh, directory for X2Go client for Windows. If we click on that uh, directory there, down here we see the X2Go client. If we click on this, that will also launch the X2Go client software. That would be the equivalent of clicking on the icon here on the desktop. We're just going to click on the icon on the desktop for now. So we'll go ahead and double click that. And the first time going into the X2Go client software, the X2Go client software sees that we don't have any sessions configured. So what it does is it pops up a new session window. The other thing it pops up is it pops up some uh, requests for us to punch holes in the firewall. Um, now, these are not necessary. And uh, I gather from uh, the X2Go people this is just something that uh, is kind of a window fluke, and uh, they recommend that we just cancel and not punch holes in the firewall because X2Go does not need these holes in the firewall. So we canceled the first one. We're going to cancel the second one here. Okay, and now here we are at our new session screen. First thing we're going to do up here at the top, it says session name. This will be text that will be uh, placed with our new session to help us identify it. So this uh, particular client is going to attach to an ECE X2Go server. Okay, You may have other sessions that attach to other machines. Uh, so it's good to put a meaningful label there. The host, that, host name, this is the name of the machine that we're going to, so it will be ece dash x2go.cc.lehigh.edu and the login ID we're going to use or that I'm going to use is called ECE demo 1. Now your login ID will be the login ID you received uh, when you got notification that you had access to the ECE Teaching Lab Linux platform. Your login ID will undoubtedly be uh, uh, along the lines of um, it, it'll match your Lehigh user ID. Okay. Uh, the last thing we're going to do here down at the bottom where it says session type, uh, it defaults to KDE. We're going to actually choose XFCE. That's the desktop I recommend uh, using these days. Now my uh, Screen's a little small, so I'm going to have to kind of pull this down, scrunch my machine, scrunch my uh, window a little bit, so I can see the three buttons down here on the bottom, and uh, and then I'm going to click the OK button, and you can see here it made uh, a session, and the session is put here in a little box. If you had more sessions, uh, they go in in this side uh, bar over here and they would just be essentially listed. Okay, so to start the uh, ECE X2Go connection, I'm going to click on this black text right here, and it brings up a little box. 
that has my ID and it wants my password. I, again, uh, this will probably not be the password for your Lehigh University ID. Uh, it will be the password that matches with your ECE Teaching Lab Linux platform ID. They may be the same if you change your password uh, to, mat to make them match, but uh, this is going to be your ECE Teaching Lab Linux platform password. So I'll type my password in. Okay. So I'm getting a, uh, a dialog box, box back here. And what this dialog box is saying is that uh, it, what this dialog box is doing, because it's the first time I'm logging in with this user ID from this machine, uh, it's saying it doesn't know who I am, and it wants to give me the public half of an encryption key. And this is uh, perfectly acceptable, and so we're just going to go ahead and click yes. And now it's going to work on connecting. And this can take a second or two, depending what's happening up on the network. And... Uh, And now, the uh, ECE X2Go software, the uh, powerful thing that it's going to do is it's going to allow graphics to come back very quickly to your remote device, your laptop or your desktop that you would be using to, uh, to make this connection. Okay, here's another uh, thing where Windows is asking us to punch a hole in the firewall. And again, we're just going to cancel this because we don't need this uh, hole in the firewall. <coughs> and now the ECE X2Go server that we're going to be connecting to uh, is very, very powerful at relaying the graphics back to our desktop quickly. Uh, the Linux servers run something called the X protocol to relay uh, graphics. And the X protocol uh, is very chatty. And because of that, if you're just relaying the X without using the X2Go client software, the response time can uh, be really long. Um, in fact, um, you can have uh, a cup of coffee sometimes while you're waiting for a screen to come back. Um, and this is particularly true if you're off campus. If you're, you know, if you're on campus, uh, it, it's not that dramatic of a, you know, uh, response time with the X2Go software. Okay, so here we have a, what came up is a uh, XFCE uh, screen. This screen is actually running from the ECE X2Go server. Now this is the first time that we're uh, making a connection with the XFCE uh, screen. And uh, because it's the first time the, the ID on the uh, server is trying to run the XFCE uh, desktop, it asks this question. Do you, uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to use the default configuration. So click on the default configuration and that will give you this nice looking screen here. Okay, now uh, with this screen, what you can do with this uh, XFCE screen, what you can do is you can, uh, you can drag it to make it uh, bigger. Um, you can go ahead and you can make it full screen. Um, and uh, one thing we're going to do here is we're going to actually test the graphics and make sure that we can get some graphics back. Now, this, as I mentioned, the X2Go uh, server uh, is really good at running uh, graphics back to your computer, but it doesn't really have any uh, robust applications that you would be using in classes. And we're going to have further videos that show you how to transfer to other machines to run your applications. But we are going to do a simple test. So what we're going to do in the middle of the desktop is we're going to do a left click and we're going to open a terminal here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type 
G edit. And then we're going to hit enter. And this should open up a note. In Microsoft, it would be like a notepad type of program. And it comes right back to your desktop. OK, so that's good. Uh, the graphics is coming back. It's, it's working pretty good. Um, and so that's what it takes to connect to the um, uh, ECE X2Go server. Uh, and it'll, it'll and also install the X2Go software. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, and thank you for listening. Oh, before I go, one thing I want to mention is that when you leave, I'm going to just close this uh, terminal window, uh, you always want to gracefully exit the X2Go software. And what that means is, that particularly if you're running a laptop, you don't want to just shut your laptop or take your laptop that's connected to a wireless access point and walk to another area where that wireless access point would drop because that would be shutting the X2Go application down ungracefully. What you want to do is you want to come up here uh, where you'll see your username here and click on this box here and then click log out. And what happens if you log out ungracefully is often uh, the X2Go files will get twisted. And uh, sometimes you can log in and it will fuss a little bit and you'll be able to get back and running. Uh, sometimes you may actually end up having to contact me and uh, uh, I'll have to do some things to untwist your files so that you can get, uh, so that you're able to use the X2Go software again. Um, so you have a couple of options here. Um, you have the restart and shutdown. Um, don't worry, you can't restart and shut down the X2Go server. Um, however, if you click on restart or shutdown, uh, you may log out ungracefully. And uh, your files may get twisted and you may have to contact me to get your X2Go uh, working again. So what you want to do is you want to click out I recommend that you click on this box that says log out and what that will do is that will disconnect you gracefully and everything will be nice uh, next time you want to go in with X2Go. Okay, Okay. so there we are. Uh, we're back on our Windows 11 desktop. And if, I, if I hit cancel that puts the box back up here in the list of uh, uh, sessions. So, so again, uh, thanks for listening and I hope this was helpful.